In today's video, we are going to delve deep into a topic that has fascinated and troubled believers for centuries, the rise of false prophets. What is a false prophet? In biblical terms, a false prophet is someone who falsely claims to speak on behalf of God. They may deliver predictions that do not come true, teach doctrines that contradict scripture, or lead people away from the truth of the gospel. Throughout history, false prophets have appeared in many forms, often mixing truth with error to deceive their followers. The Bible contains numerous warnings about false prophets. Jesus himself cautioned his disciples about them in the Gospels. For example, in Matthew 7.15, Jesus says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Similarly, the Apostle Paul warned the early church about false teachers who would arise from within their own ranks, Acts 20.29.30. Some key scriptures that warned about false prophets are 1. Deuteronomy 18 20 22 2. Jeremiah 23 16 3. Matthew 24 24 4. 2 Peter 2 1 3. These passages highlight the seriousness with which scripture views false prophets and the importance of vigilance and discernment among believers. Characteristics of false prophets False prophets often exhibit certain characteristics that can help us identify them. These traits include 1. Contradicting scripture, true prophecy will always align with the teachings of the Bible. False prophets often twist or contradict biblical truths. E2. False predictions. One hallmark of a false prophet is the failure of their predictions to come true. Deuteronomy 18.22 states that if a prophet's predictions do not come to pass, they are not from God. 3. Self-promotion. False prophets often seek to elevate themselves rather than glorify God. They may crave attention, power, or wealth. 4. Moral depravity. Many false prophets lead lives that are inconsistent with Christian values, engaging in sinful behaviors while preaching righteousness. 5. Exploiting followers. They often manipulate and exploit their followers for personal gain, whether financially, emotionally, or otherwise. Historical examples of false prophets. 1. Simon Magus. One of the earliest examples of a false prophet in Christian history is Simon Magus, mentioned in the Book of Acts. Simon was a magician in Samaria who claimed to be someone great and amazed people with his sorcery. When he encountered the apostles, he tried to buy the power of the Holy Spirit, revealing his true nature as a charlatan. 2. Elimus Elimus bar Jesus was a sorcerer and false prophet who opposed the teachings of Paul and Barnabas on Cyprus. His attempt to thwart their mission was thwarted when Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, struck him blind, leading to the conversion of the Roman proconsul Sergius Paulus. This event illustrated the supremacy of God's power over falsehood and contributed to the early spread of Christianity. Contemporary false prophets In modern times, false prophets continue to arise, often gaining large followings through media and charismatic personalities. Let's examine a few notable contemporary examples. 1. Da Jim Jones Jim Jones, the founder of the People's Temple, led over 900 followers to their deaths. In a mass suicide in Jonestown, Guyana in 1978, Jones manipulated his followers through fear and controlled them through psychological and physical abuse. He claimed to be a messiah-like figure, but his actions revealed him as a false prophet. 2. David Koresh David Koresh leader of the Branch Davidians, claimed to be the final prophet and the Lamb of God. His apocalyptic teachings and control over his followers led to a deadly standoff with the FBI in Waco, Texas in 1993, resulting in the deaths of Koresh and many of his followers. What is the impact of false prophets? False prophets can have devastating effects on individuals and communities. Their teachings can lead people away from the true gospel, causing spiritual harm. Additionally, the actions of false prophets can result in emotional, financial, and even physical harm to their followers. They can lead to spiritual deception. False prophets can lead people away from the true faith, creating confusion and division within the church. Their teachings can distort the understanding of God's character and purposes, leading to spiritual stagnation or regression. What is the emotional and psychological damages? Followers of false prophets often experience emotional and psychological harm especially when their expectations are not met or when they are manipulated and controlled. This can lead to a crisis of faith and trust issues that may last a lifetime. Financial exploitation. Many false prophets exploit their followers financially, 
asking for large donations or selling dubious products and services. This can result in significant financial hardship for those who believe in their promises. Discernment – Identifying False Profits Discernment is key to identifying and avoiding false profits. Here are some practical steps to develop discernment. 1. Know the Scriptures A deep and thorough knowledge of the Bible is essential for recognizing false teachings. Studying Scripture allows believers to compare any prophetic message with the truth of God's Word. 2. Pray for wisdom James 1.5 encourages believers to ask God for wisdom and He will generously provide it. Prayer is a powerful tool for seeking discernment and understanding. Yidda ha! Ah, test the spirits! 1 John 4.1 advises believers to test the spirits to see whether they are from God. This involves evaluating the message and the messenger according to biblical standards, or seek godly counsel. Consulting with mature and trusted Christian leaders can provide additional perspective and guidance when evaluating prophetic claims. 5. Observe the fruits. Jesus taught that we could recognize false prophets by their fruits. Matthew 7:16. Observing the character and actions of a prophet can reveal whether they are truly from God. How to respond to false prophets. When encountering a false prophet, it's important to respond in a manner that aligns with biblical principles. 1. Confront with truth. Ephesians 4.15 encourages believers to speak the truth in love. When addressing false prophets, it's important to do so with a spirit of humility and love, aiming to bring correction and restoration. 2. Protect the flock. Church leaders have a responsibility to protect their congregations from false teachings. This may involve publicly addressing false prophets and educating the church about their dangers. 3. Avoid and warn. Romans 16, 17, 18 advises believers to avoid those who cause divisions and put obstacles in the way of sound teaching. Warning others about false prophets can help prevent further deception. 4. Pray for repentance. Praying for false prophets and their followers is crucial. God's desire is for all to come to repentance and knowledge of the truth. 2 Peter 3, 9. Conclusion and Call to Action False prophets have been a persistent challenge throughout the history of the Church, and they continue to pose a threat today. By understanding their characteristics, learning from historical and contemporary examples, and developing discernment, we can protect ourselves and others from their deception. Call to Action 1. Educate yourself. Study the Bible regularly to strengthen your understanding of God's truth. 2. Stay vigilant. Be watchful for signs of false prophets and teachings. 3. Share knowledge. Educate others about the dangers of false prophets and how to discern the truth. Or pray continuously seek God's wisdom and guidance in all matters of faith. Thank you for watching our video. If you found this content helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more biblical insights and teachings. Together we can stand firm in the truth and protect our faith from deception. God bless you.